Well, good evening. Uh, welcome to Scrolling and Making with Rust. Uh, each week since I've started this new um, software, down, started down this path with this new software, challenges arise for some reason. I couldn't get my stupid microphone to work tonight before the show started, so it's like one thing after another. But um, hope y'all are doing well. I decided to do one more continuation, which I might do some more data on down the road, but one more continuation because a lot of people the video over on YouTube, I have uh, a challenge. And a lot of people really like it. They've sent me some emails and like, Where'd you get the pattern? Well, I put it up, downloaded the pattern from Steve Good's website, scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. They were kind of like, so uh, tonight I just figured I would show you the pattern. And uh, also we could, um, I'll show you how I altered it. It's really not that hard. And you can actually alter uh, any of Steve Good's patterns uh, with Corel Draw, and he does not mind that at all. He just would, if you're going to use the pattern or put it out there, just say that you know the original pattern came from the original idea come from Steve Good. Website. Just give him credit for the original pattern, but he doesn't mind you to uh, alter them at all. He actually likes he, for people to do things like that, and so he can see what comes up or see what they make. My sound is breaking up. Well, I might have to end up going to my old standby microphone here if it continues to break up. So we'll give it a few minutes and see. Uh, yeah, for some reason, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this mic tonight. I mean, it just absolutely. Okay. Well, I try not to move then. <laughs> I have to stay real still. Anyway, that's not a panel. That's a. Uh, it's actually a, a sound or a um, piece of like cloth that's designed. Yeah, it's a backdrop. I need to have one made that says Simply Wooden Creations, but that one was fairly cheap. I think it only cost me like 20 bucks over on Amazon, so it wasn't that expensive. So I decided to use it. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Just as
Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Al, can y'all hear me? Okay, I think I've got the uh, uh, mic mic fixed for. Um, okay, now the sound. Yeah, they're not able to hear me over on Discord quite yet. I got to get over there and see if I can get the. Uh, Yeah, I had to go back to my old. All right, now can you hear me? All right, so we're all back live once again. <laughs> um, I don't know. This is a brand spanking new heads headset and microphone, and it is really giving me a fit. So I'm going to call the company and complain and see what their suggestion is because I don't know. It worked perfect the first couple of times I used it. Then the battery went dead, and then it's like now it don't want to work. So I don't know what's going on with it. And the battery is fully charged. I made sure it was charged today. So let's go back to talking about what I was talking about with the Steve Good patterns. He he thinks it's he it's okay with him if you alter his patterns, and uh, you can reach him over on Scroll Saw Workshop dot blogspot dot com and in order for me to I'll bring a new tab up here and type in yeah if you don't mind put his link out there And let me, uh, now I need to shrink myself so y'all can see it. This is his, uh, this is Steve Good's website. And here is his cat pattern catalog right here. And this is where he keeps all of his patterns. Uh, you can download any of these for free. Um, so you can search or select them by new tools, clocks. Um, for instance, for the stick man pattern, I just typed in S T I C K and hit a start search, and boom, the stick man rock band. And uh, actually, the female came from the other. There's a few stick man ones in here. One of them is dance. So. If this stick man uh, band does not have a female, so I use the dance one to get the female from. So, but you just hit click download and it'll download your computer. So there we have it. Now we're over on to um, over here into Corel Draw. So let's get let's get started. We've wasted enough time. I'm sorry about that. You know. Like I said, a uh, brand new microphone. I liked it because I don't like this microphone because it's hooked to a cord. 
and it's a pain in the butt so I don't know what's going on with the other microphone I'll have to figure out what what it is uh, but you uh, can simply come over here to file uh, import And I already have the Stickman band. It's a PDF. Now CorelDRAW will open a uh, personal personal document file. Adobe, I think, was one of the first to create these PDFs, but the uh, Adobe or Corel will open it. It'll import it. So just click import. Uh, I'm going to import the Texas text. Uh, select pages you can actually if you know the page you want you can just select the page for today's thing I'll just select the whole thing <coughs> and if you hit enter um, on your keyboard it will center the uh, the PDF on your page so just hit enter when you see that pop up so uh, we don't I don't need for right now I don't need and it saves from me being confused I don't need this page one I don't need page two I'm simply going to go down here and click on the page right click and hit delete page so and here we have the uh, stick man figures and we actually I don't need the stage so I'm going to delete the uh, stage here to this page it, I, I don't want to do that we didn't get uh, Jeff Robinson said uh, Russ no problem with her no we didn't get nothing we got it's been breezy for the last couple of days and that's it thank God poor pray for the people in the Bahamas let me tell you they have absolutely been devastated so um, pray for those poor people over there they are just wiped out I saw some of the weather channel was over there taking videos just there's nothing there the homes are all built homes businesses everything are just leveled there's nothing but debris everywhere so it's like and uh, they've you know they were expecting the death toll the last time I heard was 20 and was supposed to climb and I wouldn't doubt it because people upon people said that they were our homes were just flooded one guy said he was in the attic trying to get out of the water him and his family and the next thing you know the roof blew off, blew off the house so it's terrible anyway yeah. all right so I'm going to go ahead and uh, create another page uh, you can click uh, all right click on this see how you do that just right click down here on the page you can duplicate a page you can insert a page before you can insert a page after you can delete the page you can rename the page those are all your all the things to do so let's start off with an easy one like one of these guys with the guitar so I'm just simply going to grab the guy with the guitar and I want to leave him there in case I mess up I can come back and get another copy so just hit control C which copies him and take him over to page one and hit control V and there we have the guy with the car. Well, let me show you how simple this is. If you wanted to alter something like this, I simply just go up here. You can grab a rectangle or a circle. I put the rectangle over his head. Come up here and get the pick tool. And hold down my shift key and select the guy with the guitar. And come up here and hit back minus front. Boom. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, I needed to him to have kind of a long neck in order to stick the neck up inside the gourd to hold the gourd in position. So just simply grab these two nodes here, and then you can just stretch them out however long you want to make them. because it's so much easier if you have to try to delete his head it won't see how it left it here we'll do it one more time I'll go with another one actually I don't think I've ever tried just deleting his head I think it would leave I think that's what it's, it would do is 
leave it an open uh, curve which would wreak havoc. Control C, Control V. Well, we'll try it. I mean, doesn't hurt to try things. I don't think it's going to work, but we can flat try it. Hold on. Let me get a smaller square. Okay, so we bring this up to right about here. I want it down just a little tiny bit below. There, there we go, there we go. All right, now let's just, if, all right, when you're saying deleting, if I hold down the shift, if I delete it right now, it just deletes the square. Right, and if I hold the shift down and have the square highlighted, which I'll do, and hit delete, it does that. So it will not work by hitting, no, you don't have to group them, but this is already grouped. See, this is already grouped, and it already has nodes. So there's no grouping involved. Anytime I come over here, we'll come over here to the back, uh, another one of these. See when I grab a hold of this guy here? He immediately, if I go over to my shape tool, turns to nodes. So you don't have to group them. They're already grouped. It's just... Yes, they're supposed to be the faces. They're just. No, no, the large solid circles. You those out. Oh, 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 all right. So Jim Bashirs is asking me. These are the bases here of the, for the men to stand on. And this is the base for the, uh, guy that is on the drums. Uh, Jim wants to know if I had to make these any bigger because I put the gourd head on top. No, because the spinner gourd heads were so light. I mean, they're really, really light that there wasn't any problem attaching them to the uh, to the gourd heads or attaching these to the gourds. So we'll go back here. So I'm going to click on the square. Hold down my shift key, click on the little man, hit back minus front, and boom. Then once again, I want to elongate his neck so there you have it. Now I did notice that this uh, on both of these, these are not part. Uh, these are not a part of the main curve of the guitar players this is just a line that Steve Good in there to uh, Steve Good put in there for his hands so now once you remove the head like I've done right now now you can come a hole along and grab a hold of this and hit control G which will group these and keep that hand together see because if I move this one over here now see how his hand and all the little places all these little pieces stayed because they're not part of the body which is the curve so to speak control Z so you can grab all of this and hit control G which groups all this together and now when I move him see they stay with him okay so uh, everything's good up to a point except when we and we're fixing to go do that except when we go to the guy with the mic okay control C to copy him take him over to page one control V okay now this one is it works the same way but uh, you need to have two places so it's hard to get anything in there uh, like a circle or whatever I tried it it's just simpler to come over here to your pen tool 
which is right here on the side. Click on your pen tool and just come up here and draw around and I want this to cut right across here. Bring this one down. Let it cut right across here. And then close that off. That was just the easiest way to do it. Now I can hit shift. I got this locked in here. And I can hit shift and then go hit back minus front and boom. It cuts off the mic and it cuts off his head. Really easy to do. Yep. So now wanna I need to if I come up here and try to move some of these nodes, you'll notice uh, they're no they're not really a curve. They move together. So Control Z puts that back. Now that I've got all these highlighted, I'll just come up here and tell it to convert all of these to curves. So now I can come up and just grab a hold of this mic and make the end of it round. Very simple. And then I can grab a hold of this and bring it up to go inside the gourd. Now, the other problem I ran into once I started to uh, alter this was I realized that there's no way this gourd head is going to fit on here with that microphone that close. Uh, and there's really no way to alter this to make it look good. Uh, so what I did was I just plain and simply came over here and grabbed all these nodes here. And I just pulled the microphone out and away to give me more room for the gourd head to go in there. Now the only thing that really did was change the microphone stand which is really not all that hard to fix. I just came in here and straighten this up. Like so. Just like that. If you need to move his other hand, just grab a hold of all the nodes. Reach over here and grab one of them. And you move his hand down. Now the gourd head will fit on there. Didn't have that problem with the guitar players, but I did have a problem. I knew there was going to be a problem when I put them. Um, tried to put the gourd on this guy with that microphone stand there that close. And then the other one is the guy with the drums. Control C. Control V. Got him back over here. Um, once again, there's no way that he's going to fit. That gourd head's going to fit in between this guy with the drumsticks. So first off, let's get rid of the head. Got that selected, hold down the shift key and select the back and then hit back minus front. Boom, his head's gone. Okay. Um, once again, let's grab all of these nodes and tell it go up here and tell it to convert to curves, which is up here at the top. Why do you tell it to convert to curves? Because they're not curves right now. Remember when I tried to hit, when I tried to move? Look what happens when I try to move. Well, hold, Control Z, Control Z. Look what happens when I try to move one of these. Yeah, well, it 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 converted it once I did the thing, and I haven't been able to take it back yet. So. You want to you want to be able to have them where they all move independent of each other, rather than one or two moving together. 
Now I gotta put all this back. <laughs> you got a forward button right here where you can put everything back. Okay, so let me get a hold of this and then hit shift and we'll do the back minus front again and then we're going to convert this all to curves I messed up this drumstick over here to go over and fix it okay then all you need to do is grab a hold well this hand can't go um, this way because of the uh, what is this thing called the I forgot the name of it. Symbol. symbol yeah the symbol yeah symbol or whatever this this guy can't go over here because of the symbol so just grab you can just grab as many of these as you can and then hold down the shift key and then you can go in and grab all the rest of them and this is what I did on this was I just did the same thing I kind of pull this a little off to the side and then moved oops can't do that control Z and then move this one up move this one up And then re situate the this where it looks right. Okay, now I can come over here and grab him. Now, notice when I grab all these, because I want to move them, I've grabbed the one on the tam or the symbol, whatever you want to call it, stupid thing. It's a piece of metal that looks like a flying saucer. Uh, hold down your shift key and click on the one whoop it didn't work that time sometimes when you grab them all you hold down the shift key you can click on the one and it won't it'll ungrab it that time it's not going to do it so just grab a hold of these hold down your shift key why is this giving me such a hard time tonight there we go because apparently that one I'm just gonna delete him and try it again hmm That are in the interesting why this is doing this. Somehow those nodes are not getting converted. So if you have that problem, just delete them. And you come up here and skinny his arm up a little bit so it don't look so obvious. You can come and move this guy over. All right, now we're going to have to move this guy's hand with this other drumstick. And what I did on it 
was I just pulled it off to the side a little bit more which elongated his hands that one was pretty easy and then naturally you got to come up here and elongate his neck for the gourd to go on it now I want I'm I made the gourds I put the gourds in his drum so you can just grab all of these and hit delete on those because they're inside the circle and then you can type in whatever you want and you notice I spelled instead of the real spelling of the which that's uh, is supposed to be uh, G O U R D S I just put G O R D S one of the reasons was because I was kind of limited as to the space here inside the drum I'll make this a nice big thick you click on that click on the back and put back minus front and there you have gourds Now, like I said, uh, file new, no, file import. The girl is not part of this band. Yeah, I still got to fix that. I was going to show you that if you look at this is stick band, this is stick dance. This is a second or separate. Um, here let me back out of this I don't want to do this I want to open up another page and put it over there Oops. I'll import. Let's see if I can get it right. Third time to charm. Stick dance. Import. Okay. Hit enter. There we go. Now she came from. I think it was this one and I had to add yep this is the one she came from here control C stick her over here yeah what Paul's saying is because uh, the R the D and the O all have floaters in them I have to make them so that they don't a real quick way is just come up here hold down the shift key Grab the back, and I think this one is. Okay, I didn't get it. I 
think it is. On that one, it is Control Z back up. It is weld. If you hit weld, it'll do that. Same thing with the R. Hold down the shift key, click the back, and hit weld. Then you'll have to go in there and clean these up. Just delete that one and delete that one. Oop, I didn't get it on the end to close it up. Get my pick tool, select it, hold down the shift key, select the back until it weld. And then those are where you can actually scroll them and they don't have islands. Ta-da! Okay. Now she presented a problem because she doesn't two things. She doesn't have a mic. And I changed her dress. A uh, matter of fact, let me go over here and hit. Is it up here in my Yes. See how I altered her? Control C. We're going to copy this. Want to take it back over here? Control V. Okay, see how I did that? I actually added a mic in her uh, hand on this one side and I actually removed her hand and brought it down and stuck it over here on this side. So the dress was pretty straightforward. I just, oops, control Z to get rid of that. I want this. Huh? No, that's the dress. That's all that is. It's, it's the dress from her neck down. Yeah, she's not f any fatter. Paul said I fattened her up. Yeah, see, that's all I did right there. just to make the dress a little poofier, so to speak. Now on this, how I did this was I took the uh, pen tool, I went here, went around her neck, and then I went across her hand. like such. Now I'm going to have to move this out a little. There we go. And then I grab this, hold down the shifty key and hit that and hit back minus front. And see that left her ha other hand here 
which I took I believe I brought it. I'm trying to uh, remember how I did this. Because I had to separate it from some while. trying to remember how oh I remember how I did it I grabbed that and hit control D which made a duplicate of it which allowed me now to turn it and bring it over See, because as of right now, this is still, no matter where I move it, it's a part of this curve where she's at. Okay? So we, in order to break that part, I duplicated it, just like I showed you. Let's go back one more time. In order words to break this away from all this other... Um, I'm wondering if you could, I could hit object, um, break curve apart, if that would do it. And yes, that did it. Okay. Object, break curve apart. And then bring her hand over here. And then you can draw the microphone. I started off with a round circle. then added a small square and put them together and hit weld and boom I had a microphone to put in her hand Take the microphone, hold down the shift, click onto her, and hit weld again, and it puts it in her hand. Then on this one here, I had to, I believe, mirror, mirror it to get the thumb up. There we go. You have these two keys here. Is mirror vertically, and this is horizontally. Horizontally flips it that way, obvious and mirror vertically flips it like that I believe I brought her arm right on up hold down the shift key click onto her body and hit boom oops I messed up control Z want her thumb a little farther away now click on the hand hold down the shift key click on her body and hit weld and there you have it then you can just come in here and grab a hold of these and extend her hand out And the same thing, extend her neck out. I want to get rid of that one and keep that one in the nodes.
So there you have it. The Gord Band. Oh, why? oh, somehow when I broke all this apart. I don't know where those pieces come from. Oh, yeah. When I hit the, uh, did the curve, I didn't take it back one part. That's exactly what that is. That's supposed to go in here. And that's supposed to go there. Take the object and order it to the back of the page. Now I'm going to click on this. Hold on the shift, click on that until it back minus front. Click on this, hold on the shift key, click on her, till it back minus front. There we go. It wasn't really that hard to uh, do this, to alter this pattern to make this. So there is my original one that I did. And there she is. But that's the pattern that I used on mine. So I made the gourds. You can alter any of these figures. They're really not all that hard to do, trust me. Well, like I said, this is Steve Good's stick figure, stick, stick with Dancing with the Stars or whatever. Dancing with the Sticks. Even got him a little cameraman there. Where's the cameraman at? Dancing with the Sticks. I don't see the cameraman on here. Frage, this one? Nope. Alright, this one. This, there he is. That's the cameraman. Alright, guys. That's how I, uh,. Jeff Robinson says you put some meat on her bones. Yeah. Yeah, but you see, it's it's not it's not what you think. It's I made. She had a little tiny tiny dress, like a mini skirt, and I wanted her to have more of a a dress from the original, which would have been this one. Yeah, see how kind of she just has a little small dress, just a triangle there. So I wanted her to have more of a dress. Y'all call it putting meat on the bones. I wanted her to have a more of a dress so that she looked more like a girl. And if you'll also notice one thing, she has uh, da uh, flat shoes on here. And on mine, finished one I guess it didn't come out anyway I put actually I put high heels on her yeah I came off of here and went Hold down the shift key and 
hit weld. See, I put high heels on her. So, all right, guys. Any questions? Do we have any questions out there? I know we took a while to get. Uh, he wanted her have her to have morals. That's right, Brenda. I didn't want her to have just a a tiny, tiny, skinny, mini, itsy bitsy bikini. <laughs> Yellow, like yellow polka dot bikini. So, oh, cool. Hi, Ken. You're over, over on Facebook watching us. Hello, over there, Ken Moon. I see uh, most people still like coming and watching it here on uh, YouTube. So we've had. Uh, Jimbo Shears, and he's also in my ear. Brenda G's Designs, Jeff Robinson, uh, uh, Chris Nealon, uh, James Parker, all been out there. Aussie Man, Michelle Marcou, all been out there watching tonight. I appreciate y'all being out there so very, very much. Thank you very much for being out there. Yep. My wife says, I'm not out there, but I'm in here. She's over here behind me in bed. Yep. So that's it. Jeff Robinson has been out there. Everybody's. Thank you very much. Well, if y'all don't have any. Um, if y'all don't have any questions. But this is a really cool, uh, uh, Brenda sent me the uh, gourds, and um, and it was almost like the first, as soon as I seen them, um, my wife come up with the idea, you know, remember the little uh, animals that you used to buy for your, and I call them animals, they're not actually animals, but the little things you used to buy years ago that were plastic and they had the hair sticking straight up, they were called trolls. So my wife said I should have made trolls. I would, out of them with the heads but uh I, I as soon as i seen the gourds i looked at them went like i know what i'm doing with this i'm downloading steve good's pattern for the stick men and i'm making the gourd band so that's exactly what i did I had a lot of fun doing it if you notice in the video i used just markers to color their bodies and everything it's a lot easier sometimes to just use markers on things like that than it is to try to get a paintbrush and paint and everything I'm my hands are getting to the point that I'm getting a little bit old my hands are getting shaky I can't uh, paint as good as I used to so to speak keep straight lines and stuff so uh, markers are the way to go you can buy uh, now you can buy paint pens that actually have paint in the pen and you can use them so really it's really pretty cool and especially on the things that are like this I mean, this was super duper small. So uh, here, I will go over here and get. Uh, it really was. It was really, really small. So there's just no way that I was going to spend that much time. Go ahead and bring one of these pictures up over here. Here, let me get, get a new one. There we go. So, cool. So there you have them. There, that's the gourds. But, but that's that's all uh, markers I used to, and I did their hands, little black hands, and the uh, kind of bled over into the yellow back over there. 
and uh, I bought doll hair off of Amazon and uh, it was really long like hers and so I just cut it off short for the guys those are guys this is the only girl out there the blonde <laughs> they kind of have long hair like the Beatles now the one of the purple with the long blonde hair is a girl if you ain't figured that out yet Al then you got problems well, blonde. No, that's redheaded and and brown and dark black hair. There ain't no. What the redhead looks blonde? That is red. No, it's red. It might be because of the camera shot, but it is red. I assure you. Well, I call it blonde. I made the damn thing. I can call it anything I want. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there they. That's what they ended up turning out like the gourds. And I wanted to have a little backdrop, so I just downloaded a picture off the internet, and then printed it, and then glued it to a piece of uh. Um, oh crap, what's the name of that stuff? Poster board. I glued the picture to poster board to give it some rigidity and just stapled it to the back. So there you have it. My gourd band. Yeah, it wasn't foam board, Jim. It was, um, um, uh, uh, poster board, just thick, thicker poster board. Jim Bashir says her hair is as white as mine. <laughs> Dennis Goodson says my kids had trolls. Yeah, they were kind of a fad. I think back in, it must have been in the 70s, maybe in the 60s, but I know it was in the 70s. A little fad, the little green trolls with the pink hair and all the, you know, that stuck straight up almost. They were a fad going on. Yeah, see, they were a fad back in that day. Dennis Goodson says they're a strawberry blonde. The redheads. Strawberry blonde. Okay, we'll call it a strawberry blonde. It's still red. Nancy, do you think that looks blonde or does that look red? The red-headed ones. So, uh, I think what it is, it's the, you know, some cameras pick up colors and different hues, so to speak. So I think that's what it is. So, yep. Yep. <laughs> I got these guys cracking me up. Jim Bashir said in my ear said maybe she saw the spider and it turned her hair white. So But anyway. Alright guys, I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you all for very much for being out there. I appreciate it. And um but we're gonna call it a night. That's how I made the pattern for this. And once again it came from Steve Goods, my good friend Steve Goods website. And uh, he saw these, he saw the video, and he was just, matter of fact, I think he commented something like, said something like Larry the, Ca like Larry the Cable Guy said, that's funny right there. That beer is funny. I don't care who you are. Yep. So he, he really liked them. So as soon as I saw, like I said, uh, this is what my idea came, popped in my head what I wanted to do. So I wanted to try to put mouths on them. But uh, like I said, I didn't. I was running out of time to begin with because of the stupid hurricane that didn't even hit us. Thank God it didn't hit us. Uh, not complaining, trust me, not complaining. But uh, I was running out of time, so I didn't 
was the name. But I think they look pretty good without mouse. So I was going to paint hers really thick red for red lipstick. So I may get around to it one day. I may change my mind and paint, put mouse on it. We'll see. But for right now, guys, we're going to call it a night. I appreciate you very much. Thank you, Al, Paul, and Jim Bashirs for being in my ear. And thank you all again, Robert. Robert Petri is out there. He said, thanks, I learned something. You're very, very welcome, Robert. I'm glad you did learn something. Uh, Michelle Marcoux. Um, Brenda G. from Jen Brenda G.'s Designs. Aussie Man. Dennis Goodson, all our guys, Jeff Robinson, Chris Nealon, all you guys have been out there in the chat. I appreciate you being out there in the chat so very much. There's only one thing I got to left to do, and that is when the sun comes a peeping into where I'm sleeping, it's out to my shop I go, just making piles of sawdust and getting covered from head to toe. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching, and God bless. <laughs>